Yeah, good girl. High five! Who's gonna high five me? Good girl! What is shaking YouTube? Um, in today's video, we're gonna make it a little bit different. Uh, I'm just gonna grab my coffee. I'm making coffee right now. Well, latte, espresso, whatever you wanna call it. It's four shots usually every single day. Uh, it's about 4 p.m. So it's a little too late to drink coffee, but you know there's no time when you're on your own schedule. But we're gonna grab the coffee. We're gonna sit down. We're gonna talk. I'm gonna uh, kind of talk about what I would do differently if I was about to get started from zero, what I would do and what I wouldn't do. So let's, let, let's go. Okay, I just came outside, but the sun is right in front of my, and in my eye. So I might have to go inside. I'm gonna take the coffee inside. Let's go inside. I'll see you inside. Back inside. Gonna drink the coffee. It's a little too late. It's about four ish. But honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I woke up about an hour and a half ago. So whoever tells you, well, I wake up really, really early. Usually around 6 a.m. I work out. I do my job. I, I do everything. I get everything done. Then I take a nap during the day. So I, I took like a three-hour nap. Plus, I was partying last night. I'm not gonna lie. I guess. Uh, so I was tired. I uh, took a nap, but I got my everything done. Now it's time to drink coffee make some YouTube videos, play with some dogs, run some ads, you know. Uh, so but let's get into it. Let's go back to what I would do differently if it was just getting started. Um, one of the things when I started, I, was, I had a job. I was a sales manager at a gym. I was, I was selling and teaching people how to sell personal training. And when you get going, if you're in that position, if you have a job, one thing that I would highly recommend you do figure out what you want to do after your job not just quit i don't know where unless you're in your 20s like don't have a family don't have anything to do just like me you know i i honestly i had like i i had for a whole year i had money saved up for to live and do all those things so i if you're in your early 20s i do whatever the hell you want to do but right if you have a family and you you want to start a business i would say you you i'm guessing you have responsibility you have to pay rent you have to pay kids kids school or all those expenses their parents have and um probably you would want to find some time aside from your job maybe a couple hours a day to work on your business it's going to take some time but once you get it rolling um it feels more safe to go ahead and quit your job uh one thing that i see a lot of a lot of people talk about like yeah oh, you don't need any money to start a bit online business or you need like a couple hundred dollars but no you don't want to stress let us say you have rent you have rent to pay you have food to eat you, you have all those things you want to have money saved up besides what you have aside for your business you want to have some money like clearly to live and not stress about if you're focusing on a business a business is already stressful enough you don't want to add another stress into your life right so you want to make sure that you have um some money saved up it's as weird as it sounds and as annoying that it is money is very important in life apparently and i'm like one of those people always tell people oh yeah like don't focus on money don't like but personally i'm very money motivated and i'm like i I don't practice what I preach, but I always tell people like, yeah, like there are bigger things in life. There's family, there's like this. Clearly these are like very important things, but money make it so much easier to do, to do those kind of things. Money allow you to spend more time with your family. Money Number two is what I would do is find someone to learn from. At the time, I feel like I didn't know. I mean, most people don't know what they're doing in the beginning, right? So you gotta go and do your research. I feel like in the first couple months, I was very stubborn, trying to like watch all these people, different methods, different things. One thing is you don't wanna focus on too many people. Like, that doesn't happen. If the, I have a book recommendation for you too, the one thing. If you haven't read that book, go ahead and read it. One thing is just basically just focus on one. Sorry, my dog is singing on the background. Focus on one thing, not too many things. Don't focus on too many things. Uh, you wanna focus on one thing, not focus on too many things. When you focus on too many people, learning from too many people, too many things, you don't get anything done. Uh, you wanna find that one person that is legit and know what they're doing and then go through their course. And I know so many people are against it. Oh my God, all these people doing this because they wanna sell their course. And that's a scam or whatever that is. But I just don't understand how that is a scam. Like you go to school for four years. They don't even have guarantee. Like they don't, you go to school for four years and you come out, you have like about $60,000 debt in like 
and then you can't even get a like a normal job like you can't even get a good job to pay that off um, that's a whole different story if you want to be a lawyer or a doctor or any of those things definitely go to school i would rather my doctor has some kind of degree you know but if you're not if you don't want to go to a, doc, a law school or medical school or any of that i honestly think you should figure out what you want to do in this case, when we're in dropshipping, I would say find someone, one in person, that you trust, that you feel good about them, that you know, you feel like you know what they're talking about, and just follow their steps. Don't go try to follow all these people and be like, oh, but this person says this, this person says this. If you focus on that many people, you're not gonna get anything done and you're never gonna be successful. That's all I can tell you. And once I stopped talking, like listening to so many people, that's when I started making money, right? So in my case, like even right now, I personally don't believe that you need to have, um, I don't know, two, three mentors. You have like, you need one person that you can learn from. And I don't even like to call it a mentor. I like to call it someone, a teacher that teaches you something that you would want to learn. And then after that, you could move on to bigger and better things. I don't know, whatever you want to do. But that's how it works. Um, let's have another sip and then talk about the next one. So, so far, number one would be figure it out uh, while you have a job, what do you want to do, right? Before you quit your job. Number two was learn from something, someone or whatever that is. Number three, have some money aside if you're starting. So whatever business that you want to start. So let's say in this case, dropshipping, right? I always say anything between 500 to, two, to 2,000. However, be realistic, 2000, it's so much more comfortable. So if something goes wrong, you feel like uh, like I'm, you're not gonna panic, you know what I'm saying? You have some, some more money to play with. And uh, clearly, that's just for the business, right? Not, uh, not for your rent and all those things. You, have a, you wanna have all that all clearly saved up or um, if you have a job, you're paying it for it. I guess you're getting salary or something paying for it. And you kinda wanna save that money up for your business and put it aside. And uh, just kind of say like, this is for my, my business. I'm gonna spend it in my, in my business and look at it as an investment, not losing money. If you are right now in a place that you feel like you're losing money, you're not losing money. That's an investment. You're learning how to do certain things. It takes time and money to learn how to do things. So you gotta uh, look at it in a positive way, right? You wanna have your met mindset right. You wanna make sure that you're looking at it in a positive way, not a negative way. And uh, let's say what else? Mm -mm. all right next thing that i think is really really also important is being around i didn't know how important this is till like recently i noticed that, that i'm like around people just like myself right like most of my people now that i hang out with they either have businesses or they're doing something with their lives right and then i feel like it was not like that a couple years ago a couple years ago i had like I had way too many friends. I was just consistently going to places, hanging out. I lived in LA. I was just like doing all these things together, partying all the time. And I realized once you start hanging out with people that are like-minded, you, you automatically become like, like you, you actually start stepping up and like doing things that you, that puts you in the right direction, right? And then one thing I noticed, like my, my business partner, I knew him for like about two years now. And I never noticed how much, he, like, how lucky I am to have a good business partner. And one thing is, like, you want good people around you to help you level up, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. Not necessarily depend on, but help you level up. Clearly, if you are by yourself starting a business, great. If you have a business partner, you want to find someone who does not have the same skills as you. Uh, as you. You want someone with a different skill. So for example, me and my business partner, I'm not a design person. I don't know how to edit videos. I don't know how to do a lot of like artistic stuff that my business partner is really, really, really good at, right? So he's the, oh, he's the one always telling me, oh, fix this, fix this, fix this. However, when it comes to Facebook ads, I'm the one who is really, really good at it, right? Guys, chill for a second. <sighs> But like when it comes to Facebook ads, I'm the one who like um, does a lot of things with Facebook ads. No, you probably heard that so many times before, but this is really, really, really important. Also, so like if you feel like if you look around, so look around you, look around five of your best friends, right? And then see what are they doing with their lives? Are they happy? That's like the most important things. Are they happy? Are they doing what they love? Or are they consistently c complaining about their lives, about their 
job, about their girlfriends, about whatever that they're doing. Honestly, if that's the case, I know it's hard to say to cut people off. You don't have to, but you can kind of just stand yourself and get into like stuff and try to make new friends. I don't know. Go online, go on Facebook groups, go on Tinder maybe. Okay, maybe not. I did not say that. But you can always find new friends that influence you in a better way, you know, like that make you a better person. And uh, yeah, that's it for now, I think. That's all I would do differently. I'm just gonna drink my coffee, get some work done. And I don't know, if you guys like this kind of style of video, let me know in the comment down below. It's kind of like more chill, laid back. I didn't prepare anything. I'm just kind of going whatever comes to my head about business, about what I'm doing. And uh, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. Also, I have an hour of free training down below. Go ahead, click on it, check it out, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.